Welcome everybody, thanks for joining me. It means a lot that you're here. You have to excuse my voice, I am in the middle of a cold and I'll be happy to get through this voiceover without coughing. So I'm using the Leustrom 1917 blank A5 olive notebook. This is the title page here and the calendars and the yearly planner and the the theme for my January spreads were tartan and flowers so these are just some pictures and I journaled about the new year uh, that week we went to Edinburgh for the weekend and bought some stickers and new pencils and the sticker you see down there is from a ginger ale bottle called ginger ella so i had to have that in um someone gifted me some daffodils and which are now in bloom so i had drawn them in and this little girl here is a, a watercolor a design for little rainbow moon for her kit I am also looking after an allotment this year and these are trackers and plans just to keep me right, just to uh, make sure that I'm getting everything done when I should do. And then on the, this page, this double page spreads for social media and uh, projects, so like YouTube, IGTV and other projects. And that's it for January. So now we get on to the February spread. And I have already gone ahead and put the lines in for the weekly spreads. And the theme for this year is, for this year, not for this year, for this month, is birds and hearts and in this pouch i have all the stickers and all the bits that i've collected that i might use in the spreads so i'm just looking through to see here if there's anything that i would need but for the majority of what i'm going to use is in this bag and i went ahead and drew some song thrushes that I wanted to use and the reason why I've chosen those birds is because they have their feathers and they look like upside down hearts in their plumage so I thought that would be really nice I like that idea and I've drew them on um, Tomo River paper and I also have done a sheet of hearts as you saw there and these are rub-ons from Seven Gypsies, but I end up actually not using these. And the sheets previous to that are sort of feathery texture sheets that I did with some Ecoline liquid watercolours and uh, alcohol inks. And from those little sheets, I had these shapes and while I was playing around, I put them on top of this bird and I thought actually they look really, really good. So, and they fitted perfectly on it. So it made the bird a little more quirkier. And you can get a sheet of these birds in my Etsy shop. I have put on a digital sheet so you can play along with the February spread as well. And um, so I'm just gluing this in. The glue I'm using is um, Clean One Beacon glue. It's really good because it, it's like, it just um, doesn't wrinkle your paper at all. And it smells the acetone, so um, it's very good for this type of gluing. So I'm just gluing these in and I really love the way this just elevates this bird a little bit more. 
so that's the first the, the sort of title page um, of the theme and the next step is to do the the month so I've, I've got this old um, kind of vintage squared off paper and I am bringing out an, an old stamp set I don't know where I got this one from um, it's kind of old so I'm just going ahead and stamping down February and then um, I kind of start tearing down the, the little template would you call it a template so I'm just cutting this down till I'm happy with the position of it and then quick tidy up and I go down nope still not happy yet <laughs> I use I use paper to uh, smooth out the glue. I do that all the time. I've done that for years. So now I am cutting out the heart sheets, and all I did was I think it was Jane Davenport's paint, you know the small tubes of paint that she has, and um, ink, so sepia ink, and that's what I used for the heart sheets. So that's the first page, that's the title page done and now I'm going to do the first weekly spread. So I'm using this stamp sheet from the alphabet sheet, I think it's from Visible Image. I'll try and link all these things down below in the description box. So I'm just stamping these with the smoky grey of the Versafine ink and you'll see I'm not going to subject you to all the stamping and for the dates I'm using the raw market shop that's where I got it from again so I'm using those numbers and then I'm on to do a tab with some black cardboard and here I'm just figuring out the best position for the tab. Sorry about my head. <laughs> just, I need to sort that out. So I'm going to go through the birds that I've drawn and figure out which one I want to use first. I didn't really want, I don't want to you know, make a, a a drawing that was realistic. I wanted something that would be a little bit quirkier. So um, I think they're quite cute, some of the birds. And as I say, they're perfect for me for my theme because of their plumage and the upside down hearts. I just thought that was wonderful. So I'm going on to week two of February and this is the bird that I've chosen for that. And I wanted to put him up in the other corner at the top. I don't want to overfill each page but I do want decoration there but I don't want to overfill it because I know that I'm going to have things that I want to add along the way and throughout the month so as long as I've got enough room for those things that would be great and a good tip is to put some scrap paper in between your pages when you're gluing or stamping just to stop any cross sort of contamination onto your other page um, is a good idea because I've learned the hard way that um, especially the ink can transfer onto other pages. So these are the sheets that I've used, the eco line, and I want to put them up in the top of each page. So I'm just 
tearing them out and putting them on and this is the last page that I'm going to do the double spread for the social media and um, projects and I, I wanted to put a strip along the edge here just so it differentiates the pages from the other ones and that I can find it easier um, so just gluing this on I think it gives me a little bit of trouble to start with but eventually I get there and sort it out it sticks out a little bit which is actually fine because it means I can find it easier and then I get I think I get the stamp set out again yep and this time I'm just using the same stamp set and I put on a stamp on February social media and projects for that and then I'm just going on to do some hearts just to decorate that page those two pages <coughs> excuse me and these two pages actually are, are they are so helpful because I mean I didn't think I needed them I didn't think I would have to do pages like this but actually looking back in January and um it is so so helpful especially for YouTube and IGTV and any other sort of projects that I have going on or I'm trying to get together um, and I use another stamp set to do YouTube stamp IGTV and course content on and we're just about there I'm having a sort of quick flip through see if there's anything else that I want to add and um, I get the feeling that I need some more hearts so here I am cutting out some more hearts and wondering where to place them and I think it's quite cute to put the heart on the breast of the bird. Might not be on the right side though, but it doesn't matter. Again, I put the scrap paper in between the pages just to make sure that there's no extra pieces of glue getting onto the other page. This bird is going to be having a heart in its beak and I think this one is going to be picking this heart off the ground and then lastly this this one here Ah yeah, so use the this one here and put it on its chest as well. So and you'll see in a minute I will give you a kind of final flip through. So remember if you really like these little birds, please go to my Etsy shop and download a sheet of them. That, that'll be lovely. Thank you and uh, there you go so that is my february setup so i will see you in the next one thanks for watching